September 11th, I was in my office in East Orange. Uh, I was working as an archaeologist uh, for an engineering firm. And a friend of mine whose wife worked in the building next to the first tower that was hit came running into my office and said, a plane just hit the uh, World Trade Center. It was so unprecedented that no one really knew how to react to it. It was just total shock. And then driving home along the parkway, you could see the smoke billowing up from the buildings. And naturally, my, my kids were in school at the time, and you were nervous just to get them back home, you know, where you knew they were safe. Because you didn't know where this was going to, going to extend to. It was so sad and heartbreaking because you knew there were cars parked in the parking lot here that were not moving for several days after. So you knew after a while that that was you know, connected with the, uh, with the attack. The Memorial Gardens is about, well, it's probably 12, 13 years old now. And it's right in, good, in nice proximity to the train station, which is a fitting memorial logistically and geographically uh, to remind us that these were folks who got up, went to work one day, and just didn't come home because of an unspeakable evil and hatred. So um, this memorial, it's probably, and I'm a little bit biased, I guess, it's probably one of the more uh, solemn and uh, touching memorials that I've ever seen throughout the state. And many of the visitors who come here and the families love it. In fact, I had the son of one of the victims tell me that he would rather come here than go to the, the cemetery to you know, reflect and commune with his mother. So uh, that really made me feel good that we, we made a place where the families can feel some sense of connectivity and relief. Uh, you know, for their grief. They have a spirit here that doesn't exist in a lot of places. A lot of places, it's a place to hang your hat, you go to work, you come home, and that's it. Here, people really feel for this community. Though when an event like this happens, you know, you ha you know people are gonna come out and feel very strongly about it, and uh, you know, want to do the right thing by the community to help it heal and take care of those who were victimized by it.